Hi, it's Sandra here from Create in Spain and today I'm going to show you the method for making this card that lights up. If I pull this tab, a little light comes on over there. Now it doesn't show up too well in daylight obviously, but if it was darker in this room it would show up pretty well. So I've done the file for this particular design and I'm going to show you how it's made, how it's put together. And I'm going to do that, but I'm not going to be using the same front or quite the same design, but I'm, I'm going to show you the method. So I have some pieces here for the briefness of the video sake, I've done a little bit of prep work. Now, I don't know if you can see it too easily on the camera, but the file, what I've done is I have embossed and you can do it with a pen if you need to put a pen in your holder. I have embossed the lines that show roughly where the tape has to go, the copper tape. I've marked where the battery is and I've marked a little slit. You'll see what that's for a bit later on. And I've marked this as minus and this as plus because you need to know which side goes to which terminal. I will explain all, don't worry, it's not difficult. Now I've also done some prep work on this in that I've got my oval, which is my window, uh, also embossed so I can see where it is. And I've just done some colouring on it, just some very brief colour blending. So my front panel in this particular case is this one. And I've got my cutout. I've got it backed with acetate. I've used double sided tape to stick the acetate on. I've put this frame of lattice over the top of it and I've added a swirl. Now I won't provide the swirl in the file simply because it's actually a font that I've cut out. So I don't actually claim responsibility for that one. And I've used a silicone glue to stick it down because I've got a glitter card. That's the best bet for sticking it. I've got a couple of little sparkles on here, but basically my front is done. I've got the back here and I need to show you how to do the wiring. But first of all, I'm going to explain something. Here is a battery. This particular one is a CR2032. And I have a little LED. Now this LED came from a string of LEDs. And to prep it, what you need to do is to take off a couple of the wires, leaving two wires on one side. You need to strip the coating off the wire a bit. And I just use a normal nail file for that, just a normal card nail file like this. And you simply just sort of do that a few times until you've got some of the coating off. Now you notice that this and here has got a little hook and that's because I've already found out which is my plus and which is my pos which is my negative. So I have my positive and negative worked out and if I put my battery here and I sandwich that it lights up. Now for those who don't know much about electricity if I did it the other way around it won't work. Okay the negative side of the battery is the back of it and the top is usually marked anyway with a positive so that you should be able to tell your positive from your negative. So I've marked that up. I've cut some copper tape, it's self-adhesive copper tape. This one is very, very thin and quite fragile, but some of them I think are a little stronger. I have some strips of double-sided foam tape, ready cut. And I might cut them down so that they're narrower if I need to. I've also got little bits of double-sided foam tape cut into smaller portions. I have this piece of card which is in the file and it's just a simple straight piece but it's marked with some score lines and what you have to do is to concertina it. So up and down, up and down, up and down like so until you get to the end and the object of the exercise is to make a little cross like that now you don't have to do this but I chose to do it I put just a little bit of glue in here pinch it together 
to <laughs> not pinch together for long enough, obviously, to make it more obvious that I have my cross. So I'm going to pinch that and I just work my way along to the end, doing that each time. Just a little bit of glue. As if you don't have to do it, but you know, I just decided I would. And then the last one goes like that. And you have a little cross. And you might be thinking, what on earth are you doing with this? Well, as it happens, it's going to form a switch. Now, once you've got that done, take a little narrow piece of your copper tape and choose one side or the other. It doesn't make any difference which it is, but choose one edge or the other. And you want to put your copper tape all around one edge. So I've chosen this top edge. So, just try and keep it more or less straight and just keep going to the end. You can of course do this while it's in its straight form and then fold it afterwards if you really want to. And then I'm going to fold it right the way to the end and where it meets the other one, I'm just overlapping it slightly and just tearing the end off. I've got a bit of tape stuck to my finger. There we go. So you want to press it on firmly so it's well bonded. Don't want it coming loose. But other than that, that's the switch done. And because you've just overlapped it, it is going to be the cross shape. Leave that to one side for the moment. Now on here, I'm actually going to make a shaker card out of this. I meant to do it with the other one and I forgot to put the shaker bits in, duh. But what I'm gonna do first of all is the minus. So I'm gonna go from underneath where the battery is to up here. Now I've left a big gap. If you were using Chibitronics, you wouldn't be leaving a really big gap, but I'm not using Chibitronics. I've got these things and they've got legs on, so I don't have to leave a very small gap. But first of all, I want to put some double-sided tape just where the battery has to go. Because we want our battery to stay in place. That's a good idea. And double-sided tape is great, but you don't want to put double-sided tape over the stuff that you're actually going to put to make your lights work. So there we go, a bit of double sided tape. So I'm going to take some of my copper tape now, find the end of it. That's always the most difficult bit, finding the end of one of these bits of tape. There we go. And I'm going to take it from underneath where the battery is going to go. And I'm more or less following the line. It doesn't have to be exact, but it does give you a guide of where to put it. When you get to a corner, you fold it back on itself and then fold it over again. Like so. And then trim off any excess. Now I can take a bone folder, I was looking for it right there, press this down nicely. There we go. Now you can probably still see there is a little gap before I start the next one. Now the next one is going to go from there down here and then it's going to go into that slit. Now because of the nature of the tape it isn't that easy to do when it's sticky. So take the tape and fold it over on itself so that you have two non-sticky sides and then put it through the slit 
pull up a bit more of the tape away and just start it on that side and then on this side you can just stick it down like so and take away any excess. So you've managed to thread it through that hole without it sticking to it. If you try and do it without double folding it, you're going to get into a bit of a mess. Take it from me, I know, because I tried it. It doesn't work well. So fold it back on itself. Try and avoid getting tied in knots. Fold it back and press that down and then fold it over like that and be careful to leave the gap and snip off any excess. So that's part of the wiring done but not all of it. Just going to press this down well. Turn over, press it down nicely on the back too. Now I have to do a piece of tape that goes through that hole again, down here, across here, and over the top of the battery. So you want a piece which is going to be long enough. You want to again take the backing off the first inch or so of tape, double it over, sticky side to sticky side, pop it through the hole, put through enough so that there is sticky on the other side of it because you don't want it being loose so it needs to be stuck down on that side. You can chop off the excess that you use to thread it so that's not a problem. Okay and then we do a bit down you fold it back on itself And then we fold it over and we hope that we haven't made a complete mess of that fold. It should be okay. And then fold it over like so. Fold it like so. Now this bit we need to have quite a long piece. Because it has to be double. <laughs> That's the trouble with this stuff is it sticks to your fingers. It has to be doubled over to contact with the battery. So it needs to be doubled over like so. So when the battery goes in, battery going plus side up, the battery will stick on the sticky tape and then this will contact here. That is how it's supposed to work. Positive, negative, Piece of tape, yep, okay. So I know that that is my positive and that is my negative, and I just need to position my light so that it goes where I want it to go. And in this particular case, I'm just going to bend that just a little. And you can either put normal sticky tape on it or you can put some more copper tape. And since I happen to have some copper tape, I will stick it down with some copper tape. So, that's if I get off my fingers. Oh, this stuff is really quite sticky to use. So, I need to make it so that, that light is going to be very close to my uh, oval there, so I'll do that. At each step you need to test because if something goes wrong and you finish the card it's a light pain if it suddenly decides not to work. So. Let's just check this one again. Yep, that works quite nicely. 
So I can put some sticky tape over that one. I'm just going to use the normal tape for this. So I have my circuit basically working, but as you can tell, it's not working at the moment because nothing is making contact there. This is where this bit comes in. And what you do is you thread two parts of the cross through the slit, making sure that you have your contact tape facing the tape that's running that way. And you just pop it through the slit like that and you open it out on both sides. Then when that goes over onto there, it completes the circuit. Ta-da! Like that. Now because the way it's constructed, it will grip quite nicely. And I think this is quite a reliable way of getting the contacts to work. So put it over as far as it will go to the left. And this is where these little picket fences come in. You need to put a little bit of double sided adhesive on here. Uh, and remember, you don't want to have so much double sided tape that it's going to come into contact with the card that you've put on top or anything. So you just want a piece in there. And then that can go on there. You turn it over and you do the same thing with this side. So a little bit of tape. I'm literally just folding it over on itself a couple of times to get the kind of size I want because that's the easiest way of doing it. Put it in the middle like that. Now you do want to make sure that you match these up. So I want to put some tape on the end of the arrow as well. I'm going to put a little bit of tape just there. And you want to match that up So now you have it so that when you pull this, it's going to light up and it will stay lit up. Now when it's in on its fullest mode, you want to put a mark there that says pull. <laughs> There's my ink. So I'm going to stamp this now. It's easy to do. There we go. And that's the hard bit done. That's all the circuitry done. And it wasn't that hard, was it? Move this out of the way. Now, because I'm going to be doing a shaker card, I'm just going to clear up here. Because I'm going to be doing a shaker card, what I want to do is put some foam around the oval, most of it at least. And I want to put something around the edges to help support the front panel. So. All I'm going to do is use my strips of double-sided foam tape. Now you just have to be careful not to obstruct anything that needs to move. That's the only thing that you really need to be careful of. It doesn't matter if the tape goes over your copper tape. In fact, sometimes it can be a bonus to do that because it means it's not going to lift. That's that bit. It's going to stick this on here. I buy my tape, it's quite a wide reel. It comes in an eight meter reel, but it, it's almost an inch wide, I guess. 
and I just cut it down into strips. I put it onto uh, backing paper, non-stick backing paper, and then I just cut it into various strips and sizes, depending on what I want to do with it. And I just keep it as a stash. So, if you have a very thin piece, it is like this, it's pretty thin, you can actually get it to go around things like ovals. So, in this particular case, I'm going to go around the outside of my bulb because I don't want to block the light from the bulb, obviously. Just need to cut down another piece to a thinner length. And so. You can go around most shapes with it if it's this thin. It does make it a lot easier to maneuver. And Double check that it's going to light up. Yes, it is. There we go. And I haven't put that tape down too far because if I put it down too far, this wouldn't work very well. But it's fine, so that's okay. And now I need to put some bits in here before I forget to do that. And all I have to do now is to remove the backing tape and put the front on. And I will do that off camera because I need to be directly over it to do it properly. Now I've got my card front ready to go onto the card base. Just a word of caution, make sure you do not put anything down here that's going to interrupt being able to pull your mechanism out. So very important, you definitely don't want to have it stopped once you've made your card. So here we are, our two lighting up cards and this one lights up with a blue light and that one lights up with a white light. And if I just close down my blind you'll get more of the effect. So this one of course is a shaker card and the other one is not. And if you push that back in, it goes off. And then if I pull this one out, that one lights up as well. So there we have it. Two different possibilities from the same file. Now I did do some lighting up cards for last Christmas. So you can always have a look at my um, lighting up cards, my LED card playlist and see if there's anything in there that you like. That's it. Thanks for watching. Take care now. Bye bye.